Hello everybody and welcome to the short feature highlight video. Today we're going to be talking about the time zone functionality within the Memfold platform. So for those of you already super familiar with the Memfold platform, this will probably not be new to you. But for others who are perhaps newer to the platform, this should be a really nice starting point and introduction to the functionality. So what is time zones within Memfold? The time zone functionality within Memfold allows you to contextualize all of the time-based information that you're looking at within the platform, dependent on the selection you make. The various different options available are firstly, browser. So browser is the default and it is what you will see when you log in and out of the platform by default. You then also have universal time, a device time, which we'll talk about more in a minute, and custom time. Custom is a drop down with a region based selection for time zone. Going back to the device time zone, device is available by default for Android customers and via configuration for MCU and Linux customers. And what this allows you to do is, as you would expect, contextualize the information you're looking at based on the device you're currently viewing. So as you can see here, I've just selected device time zone on this device I'm looking at. I've got an indication that I'm now in GMT plus 10. So I know that this device is a little bit ahead of me and all of the time-based information that I'm looking at here has been contextualized to this device time zone. So we see this being really useful when, for example, you have a support request that comes in that says, hey, I was having issues with my device this morning. Now, if I don't know where that device has been deployed, this morning doesn't mean anything to me. But with the use of the device time zone capability, I can instantly contextualize all of this time-based information. I can see straight away what this morning is for this specific device and jump into any fault finding or debugging that I want to do without having to go back and forth or do any of that manual calculation. You can also run a similar workflow with the custom region-based time zone selection. You will either have to get the, the uh, time zone from your customer or you may well have deployment location listed within your custom attributes, in which case that makes that job really easy. The other use case we see quite commonly is for universal time. So many of our customers work with globally distributed teams and they decide to, as standard, work across the universal time zone. This removes any ambiguity or gray areas when collaborating and you know that any time-based information is consistent across the whole team. And then as mentioned, the default is browser. Hopefully this was a useful introduction to the time zone functionality for you. If you have any further questions, please reach out to the team. Otherwise, we hope you enjoyed this and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.